You guys are so slow. I like how he pretends. <laughs> oh, you turned it up. Downhill champion. First one to the bottom. Oh, first one to the bottom. No, I was clearly <laughs> the first one to the bottom. Zongs are massive. They were originally built as fortresses to defend the country from invaders. But since Bhutan isn't at war with anyone, half the Zong is used as a monastery and the other half for government offices. This one in Punaka was the most picturesque one we saw. To get to the Zong, we had to cross the longest suspension bridge in Bhutan, which, like most of the country, is covered in beautiful prayer flags. Hey guys, so it's now day three of traveling through Bhutan and we're leaving uh, this beautiful place, Punaka. Look, look at the scenery behind me. Uh, unfortunately, we have to leave and we're heading to a new city called Paro, which is back over the mountain range. So we have to go back to Sinbu, the capital, and then to Paro. So we're back in Timpu and we've pulled over at the side of the road to catch an official archery match. Wow, did you just open the beer with a Coke oh, this bottle? Is 11, <laughs> it's a super strong beer. He's opening beers with a Coke bottle. Cheers. 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 <laughs> if they're not performing well, so they'll have like one shot or two shots. Yeah. Is that why he's having so many shots? Just How many one. targets have you hit today? Oh, just one only. Only one. one. How can you tell? Whenever they have that, oh, you get, no, you get a sash every time you have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've just got to Paro, and luckily enough, we uh, have stumbled right into a archery tournament final. Don't touch this off. So I guess I wasn't supposed to touch the wire. You can see these guys are using the uh, the traditional style bows. <laughs> so, day five in Bhutan. Today's the big day. Today we go to see the pinnacle of Bhutan tourism, uh, and that's Tiger's Nest. So we're going to be doing uh, a lengthy hike, and uh, some people are going to be taking some horses. Um, but we're going to hike it, and we're going to head up the, as the side of a cliff to a monastery. It's built into the side of the cliff. We got a little bit of clouds today, but hopefully by the time we get up there, it'll lift. So we've got about an hour up some pretty serious steep terrain and then we'll get to a tea house uh, where we get to take a little bit of a break. But I've just realized I forgot to bring water. Oh my God. I seriously taste blood right now. I have to peel off a layer here because I am dying. 
I would take off the tube too, but hair's too messy. So I just passed this group that's a little bit behind me. And they said I look fit. They obviously don't watch these videos. Yes! Tea house! Halfway! Woo! This is where we take a break. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yay for a break. Yes. You don't look I, tired at all. I came on the horse. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't have any water, which didn't help. You don't have water? No, I forgot it. I told you to fill up. I know. Another kind hiker was seeing how much I was struggling and gave me one of their juices. Very nice of them. Ungia is now a master, master Inukshuk maker. Wow. In no time at all. Okay, gradual this way and steep that way. How long is and it's going to the same place? The same place. And we're choosing the steep on purpose? It's shorter. But it's steep. We've decided to skip eating in order to be the first ones to the top today. We're hiking down a lot of stairs right now. I think there's 800 in total. And all I keep thinking about is we're gonna have to go back up these. It's moving, yeah. It's moving. Oh, it's moving. Okay, that looks still pretty high up. That, that means we have to go up a lot still, right? Yeah, we go down and then back up. Why don't they just build a bridge from there to there rather than going down and then up? And it's part of the spiritual journey. Okay. We made it. Are we the first ones? First foreigners. <laughs> well, that's it. Camera's got to go off and away now. So we arrived at Tiger's Nest. It took us probably about an hour. About an hour to get to the top. Uh, might have been faster if uh, we weren't waiting for Brian. But we were the first foreigners. Oh, oh, oh. 